Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us at ATIA 2022. I'm Caroline Van Howe, the COO of ATIA, and I am delighted to be moderating this education session, both for the in-person audience in Orlando and for the virtual attendees online. I'm joined by Sarah Wiles, who is the COO of PRC Sortillo. PRC Sortillo is a sponsor of the Prinky Lecture Series. We'll be monitoring the online chat and acting as the voice of our virtual audience to, during today's session. We I just wanted to let everybody know we have over 200 participants in the virtual event. And I think we probably have the same number of people here in Orlando in the, in the, in the meeting room. And we are sharing this live on YouTube as well. I don't know how many people are on YouTube right now, but um, this is going out to hundreds of people around the world. Thank you to Habitat Learn for providing session captioning. For those of you online, the live transcript link is available in the chat area if you'd like to follow along. For those here in Orlando in the room, the captioning link is also available in the accessibility service section of the mobile app. In addition, for those joining us online today, this session includes two ASL interpreters. Please select the interpretation video channel to resize or relocate their video window as needed. Please join me in welcoming our presenters today. Today's session will be featuring Karavir Singh, the 2024 Prinky AAC Distinguished Lecture Awardee. We are delighted to have all of you speaking with us today. I will turn things over now to ATIA CEO, David Dichter. Thank you, Caroline and welcome to all of you, and welcome to you, Karen Thank you so much for being here with us. I, um, we started doing this for with ATIA about three or four years ago during our virtual first virtual event only. And a little bit of feedback for me. Um, and, you know, Ashley, who won last year's award when we posted her video to YouTube had over 4,000 visitors. And for those of us who have been in this field a long time, in the social media world, 4,000 is not a big number. But in our world, 4,000 is a monster number. And I'm really proud that we can amplify all kinds of things, but most importantly, amplify representation of folks who have a disability, who are communicating, who are participating, who can do just whatever they're desiring to do. And that's what the Pranky Lecture is all about. Really seeing through what we all believe in and recognizing and giving opportunity for someone to really tell their story. Um, Karen Beer has some great stuff to tell you. But to begin, oops, I want to introduce Angela Stanbridge, who is the thank you. Oh, hold on, I gotta make sure I get everybody's titles right. Wherever that is on my sheet of paper here. Um, I think actually there were some disclosures I was supposed to mention for the CEU part, but I think they went up there. So Angela is the um, head of, she has led and been the chair of the Pranky Lecture um, Committee that helps select the awardee. And that's a group of five to seven folks uh, who have been longstanding folks in this field. And they had a really tough task this year. There are, I think we had over 20 nominations of folks and we're working hard to figure out how do we recognize even more folks. Um, so, and Angela is also the director of the Texas Assistive Technology Act program. So Angela, it's all yours for a minute or two here. And I think we're gonna use, which mic? That was, that was, all right, thank you. And I am super excited to be here. This is my first year as the chair for this committee. I've been on the committee for multiple years, but I follow uh, in the shadow of a giant. Um, Gail Van Tatenhove was the chair for 15 years, and she is passing that torch on. 
Uh, she did participate in the committee this year, along with some of my other committee members. Lori Geis, I think I saw you raise your hand. Amy Goldman, Sarah Wild, who's with PRC, and Dr. Tracy Rackensberger. We also work with Carolyn Van Howes, our liaison with ATIA, and Tracy Van and Becky Williams support us in doing all the complicated parts. <laughs> and I would like to say that this was, of all the years I've done this, one of the largest pool of applicants we have ever had. And there's a rubric we go through and we meet several times virtually and um, talk about the scores and whatnot. And a significant number of that 20 something applicants scored perfect scores. <laughs> so then we had to kind of do it all over again. <laughs> it was a very, very competitive field this year. And I know many of the applicants were frustrated and thought, well, I thought I did so well. Well, you did do well. And I would encourage you to apply again in subsequent years. Um, I believe this is Karn Beer's third time to apply before he got uh, accepted. So uh, it is it is a stiff competition. <laughs> And many applicants in the past have been up for um, application multiple times before they are selected. Uh, we encourage you to apply again. Um, that will go out in August, September, October, somewhere in there. And you usually get notified November, December, somewhere in there. And then the benefits are listed in the application process. So I would like to thank my committee for all of their very hard work. I would like to thank the applicants for their application process, which is it is a rather lengthy application process. And also I'd like to thank ATI and PRC for maintaining this fabulous award. And now we'll turn it back over to David. Thank you, Angela. So just to repeat, the nominating process, like with lots of things, we have a room full of folks here who know a whole lot of folks who use AAC. You are the help for all of us to get the word out that we have this award. Now, as you know, it's competitive and it's hopefully really respected. And so it's your job to help us and help Angela and the team to kind of get that word out there. Um, so at this point, I wanna introduce our sponsor um, and I wanna thank uh, PRC Satillo for committing to sponsor the prank lecture. Um, you know, we have lots of different activities going on here. But this one in particular is for me a really special moment. This is not ATIA, this is not just PRC Satillo. Um, this is all of us. And I think this is what all of us want and desire. So I, I, I want to introduce Dave Hirschberger, who's the CEO of PRC Satillo. And uh, he has a few words as well. Dave? Well, thank you, David. Uh, it's great to be back at ATIA. Uh, it's great to be back at this uh, lecture where we uh, celebrate um, someone who uses AAC, we uh, celebrate their success and look forward to what uh, they have to share with us. It's also an opportunity for us to uh, celebrate the lives of um, Ed and Esther Prenke. And this has a special meaning to me personally. Um, it was a little over 45 years ago that I, as a high school student, started working at Prenke Romit Company, which was the company that Ed Prenke and Barry Romick uh, founded. And I will always be just very grateful for the direction and purpose this gave my both my life and my career. And one of the reasons that I really love that this lecture is the way that we celebrate Ed and Esther's uh, life is with Ed, it was always, it, it, the focus was never the technology, but on the people we were serving. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to um, we're, we're going to give our ear and our attention to uh, an individual who uses the AAC. And so, on behalf of uh, PRC uh, Saltillo, I want to thank David Drifter and ATIA for providing a forum for this event. And as has become customary, uh, this year's winner will be introduced by last year's recipient. Uh, Ashley Moheski is a licensed professional counselor associate who is very passionate of, 
about the mental health of individuals. And last year, uh, Ashley gave us a, an inspiring lecture titled uh, The Intersect of Success in AAC. Uh, Ashley was unable to be with us this week, uh, and so she has uh, recorded her introduction, and we'll see that right now. My name is Ashley Mohiski, and I hope you all are enjoying this year's ATIA conference. If you are not familiar with who I am, I was last year's recipient of the Perk Key Award. Throughout this past year, I went on a speaking circuit, if you will. I was given multiple opportunities to speak to various organizations regarding my story and how the disability community can have successful lives. I also published a one-of-a-kind research paper, as well as co-hosted an online training regarding mental health and people who use AAC. I am truly grateful for what the Print Key Award has given me because it allowed me to amplify my voice out to a wider audience and hopefully make an even bigger impact on the world. In saying that, it is now time for me to pass on the torch to this year's Print Key Award recipient. Karan Veer Singh has made a name for himself in the technology industry by editing 75 videos for various companies all while using eye gaze. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty impressive. He also owns a business called Hensimaja Consulting Services, where he offers film editing, speaking, and consulting services for school districts and other businesses in Washington. His most recent keynote speeches were to Michigan's AAC Talk Conference, as well as the Accessible Early Start Conference. He even edited a video called Celebrating All Voices. It is no surprise that Kalrat Veer has overcome and achieved many things throughout life and is more than deserving of the Perk Key Award. It is my pleasure to introduce Kalrat Veer Singh as the 2024 Perk Key Lecture Award recipient. Take it away, Kalrat Veer, and congratulations. Hello Lomo Sapiens, my name is Karan Veer Singh also known as Handsome Ajat and I'm excited to present in person today. I love to see a smile, I have one that never goes off my face. I love to watch people do random stuff, then laugh at them when they can't get things done the right way. I love laughing and 95% of my personality is my smile and my happy mood. I'm a film editor, public speaker, and consultant. I love working with students with disabilities because I feel connected to them. I would love to share how I find my passion every day and keep a positive outlook on life. God blessed me with eyes to communicate with the world. I feel incredibly fortunate. These eyes are not just a means of expression. They've granted me a career and the ability to work. I never imagined achieving such wonderful things using just my eyes. I believe that God has endowed everyone with a unique talent. My eyes serve as my voice, allowing me to communicate consistently with the world. Technology has given me a new way to express my emotions and thoughts. An eye gaze system opened a lot of doors and gave me many opportunities. Like this opportunity, group of exclamation marks. Passion signifies freedom and there's no price tag attached to it. I can express my creativity and be confident in myself, treating passion like a cherished family member. That's what passion means for me. I would be delighted to share the journey of finding my passions with all of you. Reflect. What is your primary area of passion? 
think about it in your mind. Now, I'm going to share my passions with you, guys. When I was in intercultural communication class, I started getting more ideas about what I wanted to do in my life to discover my passions. I had to speak to my classmates and it opened my mind. I began researching how to edit videos, and that's when I connected with Mr. Mark, an Apple representative. He provided me with a high-end iMac and a head mouse. Mr. Mark shared numerous tips on video editing, becoming my first video editing teacher. I had the opportunity to meet him thanks to Miss Rose, also known as Rose Mom. Rose Mom was my occupational therapist at school. I discovered my first passion for film editing which led me to edit more than 75 videos using eye gaze and head mouse. For film editing, my preference is to utilize my MacBook Pro due to its exceptional speed. However, I encountered a challenge as eye gaze technology is not yet compatible with the Macintosh computer. To overcome this, I have adapted by learning to use a Glazaus head mouse. This device connects seamlessly to my Mac via Bluetooth, enabling me to navigate the computer by controlling the mouse with my head movements. Additionally, when I'm on the go, I make use of my Microsoft Surface 8 Pro, paired with the eye gaze bar from Tobodynavox, to edit films, look carefully at me today. I am using the glass house to operate the PowerPoint. I am passionate about film editing, as it transports me to an entirely different universe, offering a profound escape from the clutches of depression. Moreover, I am determined to address the lack of wheelchair accessible stages at award shows by not just participating but winning awards, thereby catalyzing positive change. I've crafted two video tutorials for the Special Education Technology Center, SETC, and in one of the videos, I animated a cartoon character using AI. I introduced this creative element as no one had previously considered incorporating a cartoon character into the tutorials, and I believed it would bring a unique touch. Sutsi is affiliated with Central Washington University. I'd be delighted to share that particular video with you. The full version is available on the Sutsi YouTube channel. My name is Karan Veer, also known as Handsome Jet. Today, I will teach you how to navigate the basic features of Adobe Illustrator using TD Control. As you watch this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing.
I created QR codes for the videos I edited. You can scan QR codes to find the videos with your phones. I wanted to start my own business because I aspire to be someone who creates jobs and values freedom. Additionally, I appreciate the flexibility of being able to work anytime. Although I understand the importance of completing my tasks on time, honesty is a fundamental principle in my work ethic. I believe that if you are not honest with your work, success will elude you, and your work will ultimately betray you. However, if you are willing to work hard with honesty, you will be successful. In 2022, I launched my inaugural online clothing store and gained valuable insights into selecting reliable vendors. Due to horrible product quality, I temporarily suspended my online store operations. I registered a different business license called Hanson Jet LLC. The LLC allows me to sell products and services with added liability protection for our house and assets. I'm planning to restart my online store and create my own products. Feel free to contact me for advice if you want to get a business license and reseller permit. I have an aura reading business where I set up a booth around Seattle, Washington. I sell mugs, jewelry, and I provide aura readings. Many people come to get their aura read by me. Everybody has an aura that is a specific color size. Aura color and size can change with emotions and life circumstances. People love when I tell them their aura size and color, especially women. I also offer aura readings for pets. Auras can provide insights into people's personalities and health. I can sense when someone is deep in thought because their auras begin to vibrate, emanating from their heads. If you want to know your aura color, you can come to me but make sure you have $20. Wink wink. I've always had a passion for helping other people with disabilities. I want them to be self-confident and proud of who they are. Mr. Adam, my speech therapist, told me 33% of students are embarrassed to use their communication devices because they think they look different and people will make fun of them. But I think God made us unique in our own way. Think of the opportunities you could miss if you didn't use your speaking device. What if you saw a beautiful person, maybe even the love of your life? How would you say, I like you, without your voice? Please don't be embarrassed of who you are and just be yourself. Remember, when someone tries to make fun of you, just laugh back at them and they won't make fun again. There are many people in the world and who have amazing talent and a lot to offer the world, but they do not have access to technology to help them communicate. In this way, they are limited. My dream is that one day all people with disabilities will have access to high-tech communication devices. More dream is that I want to be a super rich guy. Ha ha ha. Please respect the personal space of people with disabilities, because their privacy is important. I want to ask you to please not stand behind eye gaze users because the eye gaze cameras get confused. If you want to be close to a person, stand next to or in front of the person. That would be better and help us to communicate more easily. 
Plus, you won't accidentally delete things on the device. When you're behind us, we can't make appropriate eye contact. Eye gaze magic is for us wizards and not you muggles. I feel it's important for people with disabilities to be in the same places and to be treated equally as everyone else. I also think it's crucial to educate people about disabilities, so they are not afraid of interacting with us. In school, I had fun and learned more when I was included in general education classrooms. People with disabilities don't want pity. It feels weird and uncomfortable. We just want to be treated normally. So, let's focus on understanding and accepting each other for who we are. I believe love plays an essential role in life because we can't accomplish anything without loving and caring for others. My family is my most significant passion because they taught me the true meaning of love. Love is an incredibly powerful and crucial force in our lives, as it has the potential to enhance our existence and empower us to achieve remarkable feats such as writing a book or undergoing a positive transformation in our personalities and outlook on life. Family's love, my guiding light, in their support, my strength takes flight. Through dreams and days, together we sway, in their embrace, my power holds sway. By the way, I created this poem by using AI, that's amazing. I believe learning multiple languages is crucial. In my family, we speak a mixture of four languages. My grandmother, who spoke Punjabi and didn't understand English, inspired my brother and me to program greetings like Sanchriya call into my communication device. However, the programming is challenging due to pronunciation issues. My love for my grandmother was profound, creating a unique and strong bond. Everyone should be multilingual to strengthen these intercultural connections. Family comes first because we have a unique connection and they always support me in pursuing my passions. My niece Amira is my little penguin because, when she walks, she resembles a penguin. She's our 14-month-old source of entertainment. Whenever I eat something, she playfully argues with me, and I end up sharing my food with my little penguin. We never had a girl in our family and it's a totally different experience because girls show love more. Amira shows her love to her cha-cha a.k.a. uncle. Higher education is crucial as it allows us to enhance our minds, improve our lives, and help others. Currently, I'm working on my editing skills and I'm taking classes for video editing. Last year, I took Digital 2D and 3D Design at Bellevue Community College. My advisor and I made a plan for graduation. I will graduate in 2026 with an AA degree in Digital Media Arts. I have always been passionate about education. In the beginning I was only able to communicate with my facial expressions because I didn't have other options. I moved back and forth between the US and India during my school years. When I was in India between 2004 and 2014, I didn't have access to school. The community there didn't believe people with disabilities could do anything. 
I had to learn by myself from the internet and my brother introduced me to YouTube for unlimited learning. Eventually, I learned to use technology to communicate with the world. No matter what, I always found a way to keep learning, and I never gave up. I created this picture because I want my PowerPoint to be unique and nice. People are using the same themes, and I wanted to do something different. I've learned how to create 3D models. This represents my final project, my video editing setup in my home office. I chose to create this because video editing is my number one passion, and I'm committed to improving my 3D modeling skills in the future. This marks the beginning. By the way, I got 108.86% in this class. In my perspective, meditation goes beyond controlling thoughts. It involves finding peace in our minds and engaging in activities we love. For example, Film editing is my way of meditating, a relaxing activity that brings me joy, peace, and happiness. Practicing meditation can enhance our personalities, health, and auras. Then, find what you are passionate about. Discovering your passion is a personal journey involving exploration and reflection. First, Try diverse activities, volunteer, and consider what brings you joy and aligns with your strengths. Second, set goals, challenge yourself, and pay attention to what energizes you. Third, seek inspiration from various sources, connect with people of different interests, and be patient as your passion evolves. Third, Seek inspiration from various sources, connect with people of different interests, and be patient as your passion evolves. Finally, stay curious, open-minded, and regularly evaluate activities to discover what truly excites and fulfills you. It's easier said than done. Working hard and doing something you love that's the key. Just remember, practice makes perfect. You have to find what you love. I believe when we step out of our comfort zone, we grow our passion. We get more ideas and discover ourselves more deeply. I always push myself out of my comfort zone. For instance, in a business class, I had to debate and write an eight-page business plan. That's how I expanded my mind even further. I derive immense satisfaction from guiding individuals and in discovering their passions. Transformation initiates within our minds. Embrace connections with people with disabilities, fostering mutual learning, and cultivating stronger bonds. Never underestimate their potential to revolutionize the world. Together, let's forge a future that is genuinely inclusive and empowering. Unleash your dreams, where passion meets possibility. Do you have any questions or comments for your amazing speaker?
Thank you. That means so much. Uh, your lecture, your speech means so much to all of us. So thank you. This is a point of time where we do open it up to questions and Karen Bill will answer. Um, we're going to try and get at least one from the virtual room and one from uh, this audience. But I, before we do that, Karen, would you mind uh, introducing your family really quick? And if they could please stand up and uh, let's uh, acknowledge them as you have as well. Your brother, mom and dad. All right. Well, who's got a question? And it's really, it's hard to see from my, my angle here because of these lights in our eyes. And um, But uh, if some of my team could say, who's got a question? And we have a mic for you. So please wait until the mic gets to you. Uh, who's got a question? Stand, if you can stand or if you could just shake your hand uh, or if you can just yell out or use your device to yell out. I'm not seeing it. I'm sorry. Okay. Hi, uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much. What a wonderful presentation. Um, you mentioned that between 2004 and 2014, you had like limited access to technology, AAC to express yourself. Um, how did you find, <laughs> how did you express yourself in, in that time? And how did, um, getting your device, when did you get your device and how did that change how you expressed yourself? I got my voice in 2016, and I was using my facial expressions to communicate. We got a question from the virtual room. Hi, Karen Veer. We've had lots of comments and kudos and gratitude online, and so thank you for um, being available to those who are not here. Um, we've had lots of questions. I'm going to um, choose one. What is the one most frustrating thing about using eye gaze? for you.
I had a lot of headaches at first. Um, our time is short, and Karen Beer will be uh, here for a little while today. Uh, we do have another session that will be in this room. But I want to bring up Dave Hirschberger, who has something for you. Thank you for a presentation that was personal, insightful, and entertainment and entertaining. It's my honor to be awarding you with the 27th Annual Edwin and Esther Prentke AAC Distinguished Lecture Award. And, and 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 I want to add when you get your e-commerce site up and running and you find a company to make all your cool merchandise, your merch, I think you got a whole group of people who are gonna buy. And I think they're gonna help you on your way to becoming rich. So thank you. <laughs> um and I want to thank you. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your life and coming here. Uh, your family as well for supporting you. And I want to thank everybody here for now doing even more to support Karen Beer, his 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 goal. You all know what his goals are. And 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 really elevating him, like Ashley has mentioned that she's been elevated uh, to be speaking. Uh, I know that you'll uh, now have a new uh, business. It's called your entire you know, your speaking business you're going on the circuit and you'll be doing that as well so i want to thank you i want to thank karen Beer. i want to thank dave and pierre c Sotillo for sponsoring this really special moment and uh let's spread the word even more thank you so much <laughs> Thank you again to Karen. If you're interested in the AC, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. So you can contact Karen Beer. We'll have the video and we'll have some contact information. The next session is the assistant yeah. secretary for OSERS who's going to talk about AT guidance in the Department of Education. Really important. So come on back to this room for the next session. Hey. And if you're interested in the ACVREP start and end codes, please come and see me at the front. Thank you very much indeed. The stop and end codes are the start code is blue B L U E two one three and the end codes is blue two one four. Thank you everybody.